I I'm gonna try to make this in a selfie mode because it's just easier and I don't have the patience to do this so I will do it anyway so I'm going to replace the resin of my water softener today so the resin is really resin is really the uh, uh, the substance that really makes your hard water into a soft water uh, and the process is really easy when you go online and try to find somebody to actually do it it's gonna cost you three four hundred dollars sometimes it feels like just buying a new water softener online might be a, the best thing to do so not wanting to do that and being handy myself I'm not an expert but you know I try to get I, I get around just fine so um, so this is just to help you folks out who want to do it yourself. So I bought this on uh, um, uh, out, uh, uh, discount water softener website. It's a pretty solid website. I'll, I'll drop the link in the description box below. What, what I bought here, let me show you what I bought. So I bought, so I bought the Aldex C800 resin, okay? It's one cubic feet. Uh, the water softener I have is about 24,000 grains. So this is plenty for it. Then I also bought gravel. This is about 20, I think this is 20, 25 pounds of gravel. So you need the gravel as a layer, bedding layer, okay? I also bought this. This is a funnel. This uh, this was like three, four dollars, I think, on the website and they suggested, I highly recommend just get this. This will make your life easier. It comes with a little, little cap, okay? This little cap thingy, it helps you cover the Cover the pipe. At first, I was not sure what it was, but then I found out that this is what it is. Kind of, kind of gets obvious when you open things up. So, okay, let me give you a quick rundown of my water softener. So, this is the water softener main bucket. This is the salt where it goes, and this is the main, uh, uh, the brains of the operation, right? This pipe goes into. I don't know if you can see it. Goes into this funnel right here. Yeah, okay, and this just screws off and screws on to this. So it's pretty easy. You just hold it get a good grip okay and then anti-clockwise right lefty loosey right so you want to just turn it around and it'll it'll open up fairly easily okay if it doesn't get yourself like a pipe wrench uh pipe wrench to open this but it should open fairly easy once it opens up this kind of comes off and then you will have resin inside the resin looks like silicone it will be heavy because there's going to be a lot of water what i would recommend is what i did was I used, um, um, now I'll be honest, I did, uh, the recommendation online is to use a dry vac to vacuum all of that things out and then, you know, properly seal it and trash it. I just dumped it on the, dumped it in the front of my house and then I cleaned it up. So um, I was impatient. Don't be me, okay? <laughs> so now what I did was, um, and make sure I, I moved all these connections as well. Now it's bypassed right now, so it's still safe, but you know, it's kind of makes me nervous leaving this stuff out like this. This is the drain pipe. All right, now let's get to the, let's get to the meat of the situation, okay? This is the pipe that stays with your water softener. You don't have to order a new one. Just inspect, inspect this pipe, because uh, there's gotta be, there, there's like, here, I don't know if this is you. Um, okay, here. Let me see if I can. Uh, 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 all right, there you go. See, you you have this filter. Just make sure it's not broken. And if it's not, you can definitely reuse it. If you feel not uncomfortable, just you can buy a new one too if you want to. But this feels just fine. The issue I had with this water softener was the water was coming all colored for some reason. I just felt that maybe the resin is not right so i just thought you know i'll just cut to the chase and just replace the resin uh, it could be many different reasons typically resin replacement depends on how much soft water you use how big of a family and how many years it's been i don't have the history on this water softener came with the house so um, it could have been lying around for many many years you know i mean who knows so anyhow so the first thing i do is i take this i i, I disconnect this pipe i put it in and then i place this here Okay, just place the pipe all the way down. You'll feel it that it's it's sitting on something or it's touching the base. Just let it be, let it stand in the center. Okay, uh, and because I have the safety cap, none of this gravel goes in. So the layered water softener approach is at the bottom layer, you will have the gravel. Okay, it's just like little rocks. On top of that, you will have, um, you'll have the resin, okay. And that's pretty much it. And after that, I just need to hook all of these things together and then it, there I go. Okay. So let me try to place my phone somewhere here. 
so that way i can show you show it to you how this whole thing is and then it'll be a little bit easier all right so i got the gravel here i'm just gonna like i said i'm not i'm not uh i'm not oh there you go so you if you wanted to see what gravel looks like here you go this is what it is just just basically just like rocks that's all but this helps filter water is what they say so basically the operation is water comes out goes through the resin through the gravel and from under the pipe the soft water comes back out into your house that's basically it so let me try to adjust my camera all right so now what i'm going to do i have the pipe in the center like i said with that and so i'm going to now drop this Dusty. If you're allergic, you should wear a mask. All right, there you go. I emptied the whole damn thing into it. All right, so let me show it to you a little bit more closely. All that's not gonna. You see this? This is why this was important because if you don't have this cap on, chances are the job's gonna be harder and you're gonna put stones in it and you do not want any gravel in it. Like that needs to be clear, okay? Um, so I'll just leave it as is. And now you can see the pipe is pretty much stabilized a little bit. What you can do is I'll just shake shake this up a little bit so the gravel settles and then, um, and then just makes it a little bit more even. You can take this out for a bit. I will still need the funnel to put in the resin, okay? So, okay, there you go. See, now the pipe's stable. Like, and the stability of the pipe, why it matters is because the gravel is now laid down. The pipe is in the middle of the gravel and it's holding it, right? You want the pipe to go all the way to the bottom. You want the freshest, cleanest, soft water to go through the gravel, get filtered, and then come up through the pipe. That's what you would ideally want. All right, now we will open up the resin. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get myself some sort of a kitchen bowl or something like that that will make it easier for me to pour the resin. So be right back. All right, I found a bucket. I think I can manage it. The resin's 50 pounds, so it's heavy stuff. I mean, it's not heavy for me. I mean, um, you know, I can lift it easy, but you know, for for folks who, uh, yeah, for folks who feel it might be heavy, just be warned that it is heavy. And the resin feels like this is like really, you see this? This is like really small stuff. I would really keep kids and everyone else away from it. I mean, it's just, it feels moist and humid, but that's that's what it is. So, so <clears throat> what we will do is we will wipe this clean and then pour, I'll put the resin in this bucket so it becomes a little easier for me to put it in. I mean, I don't want to be lifting all the whole hair. 50 pounds in there. Okay, so what I figured out was the resin is way more humid and stickier than I thought it would be. See, when I pour this into the bucket, it wouldn't even fall. It's like lumps of it. So what I'm gonna do is get myself a little mug or a little container that'll make my life easier and getting this stuff done. All right, look, this is not the most elegant thing, but I just got it like a little rice bowl. I'm just gonna use this to do it. Let's see if it works. All right, looks like I got a whole bunch of it in my hand. Now I'm gonna just put it in there. Remember, the cap needs to be on. Do not take the cap off. Yep, the moment you put it in, it just, it just easily just goes, slides right in. Like, you know, you don't have to struggle too much to do it. Not much struggle at all. You just keep, keep on doing it. I'll, let me show it to you a little bit more closely here. All you do is just pour this, just make sure 
I'm trying to just do this so I can show it to you guys, but just make sure the make sure the flask doesn't fall and you can just jiggle it a little bit. <laughs> right? See there you go. That's easy peasy, right? All right, so I put all the resin in. Now, one thing to remember, this resin is very, very small, very tiny, and it's very slippery. It's literally like these small, tiny balls, and it's going to, that's funny that I said it. <laughs> it's going to, it's going, you're gonna slip and fall if you don't watch out. So, what I'm doing is the last bits of resin, it also sticks to your hand. I just added some water. It's okay to add water because it's gonna get watery anyway. And the other thing I figured out while I was doing it is it's better to just kind of rotate it this way rather than do this. Because when you rotate it, it just kind of goes goes down anyway. So let me let me see if I can first maybe what I'll do is I'll just Add some water. Okay, the when you add water to this resin, it becomes like a sticky goo a little bit, but it still cleans up just fine. Okay. Um, Just make sure the resin, once you're done, just sweep out the whole area. It can get really slippery, so watch out. All right, now that we're done, I can take this off. Don't need that anymore. And as you can see, the pipe's all protected by this cap, which is what we wanted. So I'm gonna take some more water just to rinse off the cap a little bit better. Okay. There you go. And now I take this off. Do not pull this out because you don't want that. Okay, what you want to do is to get the get the system seated on it. At least this is how I like to do. All you gotta do is, I hope you can see it, but there is a hole in here. It'll just slide right in. There you go, there you go. That's it. And then push down a little bit. but it did go set. Now all you gotta do is rotate it, hold the wire, righty tighty. Oh, I already have this here. Righty tighty. And you know, if you want, you can hold this thing in the midst. Alright, hug it tight. Don't try it where it's going to break, right? You just wanna be you wanna be you wanna be you want it to be snug. 
but not to the extent where it could break. You don't want it to break. That will not be a good thing. All right, now that we have this, let's start connecting everything back. I got the Brian solution line here that goes here. Kind of pretty easy with the clips. These red clips are the ones that, there's, that are gonna hold things together. All right, so I got everything fixed. I was actually mixing up these two lines. This is the drain solution. This is the outside drain. This is the brine solution. I have the cap removed like I should. Let's see if this thing is already there. As you can see, there's, there's a good amount of salt in there. I can add more. I have this bypass right now. The first thing you wanna do is, I mean, yeah, sure. Let's set up the time. What time is it? I'm the time, okay, now the time set. You remember, when we open the valves, I wanna do regen, okay? You wanna do that first. So let's open the inward well. All right, come on, how is it? It's supposed to be this way. Wow, this is tight. Okay. Oh, this goes this way. Yeah, I just, just figured it out. I, you know, I'm, I'm not used to doing this every day, so, you know. Remember, you let it fill, it's filling right now. So you can hear the water's flowing in. I uh, hear, and it's filling up. Okay, so I'm just gonna do, all right. Region today, nope, region right now. All right, now it's doing backwash. So it's gonna take a while for it to backwash and everything, and after that, technically, you should get soft water. All right. Just make sure you don't see any leaks. As you can see, I'm seeing, a lot of pressure coming out here. Water's pushed, being pushed out. There's some heat here. I gotta, maybe after this is done, I'm gonna check why that might be. Probably about. So, but I, but once this back gen is done, I'm going to, I'm going to disconnect this and see. It's probably, it's probably the, uh, um, the rubber gasket in it. It's not a big fix, it's pretty easy stuff. Okay, so it's going to do its thing. It's going to take at least an hour to get the whole region process done. But once the region process is done, you should have super soft water. Right now I checked water, uh, check for colorization of water, check if you see any dirt in the faucets. I have not seen anything. Uh, water is just clean and clear. Um, uh, it, it doesn't feel soft right away because I think the process is still ongoing but once the process ends you should see soft water and uh, and after that uh, after that everything should be good to go I put extra bag of uh, salts in here and no oh, earlier I mentioned the leak the leak probably was just uh, the leak got taken care of I mean I didn't really do anything I think it's it's just a lot of air and pressure just kind of pushing back that caused some water to drip out but once the uh, once the drain line got cleared out, I think it uh, it flows, um, it, the flow is just fine, no leaks. Um, I just think, um, um, and and you know, this water softener has was not connected for a while now. I mean, I'm thinking almost a month now because I just got lazy. I got the stuff, but I didn't get it installed. So now I got it installed. So that's that's good. Now I'm also going to mention that it cost me about 160 dollars, including shipping. The shipping's free. But $160 to get the resin and the gravel. Uh, now, if you're a first time user on that website, you get a $25 coupon. Now, I did not use that coupon because I, I, I probably didn't pay attention to it. But you know, I, I have another water softener that I gotta fix, so maybe I'll use that coupon then. But you get a $25 coupon that brings the price down to $145 um, or $140, which is still a pretty good deal. I mean, folks outside, on Thumbtack or even my plumber were charging five, 600 bucks for something that took me 
something that took me, the refill process took me less than 30 minutes. The, the process of actually opening this up and emptying it out, that, that takes a little while because you gotta empty out the water, then you gotta flush the whole thing, the whole old resin out. And it just takes some time. I think I, you can chalk it up, chalk it up to an hour. But still, I mean, I mean, you're, you're saving four or 500 bucks. And most of those guys don't even do that. Most of the guys will basically try to sell you a new system and they'll give you the, they'll get you to sign up for this gimmicks where they say, oh, if you buy this water softener, we'll give you soap laundry soap and detergent for a year for free i mean who the hell cares it's stupid soap like seriously all right let me not get too opinionated here all right hopefully this video helps um like share subscribe i know there's a lot of homeowners out there who want to do it themselves it's super easy stuff men women anybody can do it like don't don't be afraid of doing it it's it's easy i'm gonna post a quick update in a while once i know for sure that the water's water is soft uh but you know I, I don't I don't see any reason why it wouldn't be. All right, take care. Bye.